All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the worldwide celebration is officially over and today marks the beginning of a brand new campaign on Global. So as always, we're going to check it out together and see if there's any surprises that we weren't expecting. Okay, so let's pop into the news here and start with this right here. As you can see, it's called the Late Autumn Awakening Autumnal Training Campaign. I always struggle with that word, man. Aut Autumn Null. I was, I was like Autumnal in the past, but I think I got it right. I think I got it down this time. So Autumnal Training, and it says Late Autumn Awakening Autumnal Training Campaign is on. New SSR Gohan Teen will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Gohan Teen can strengthen allies from the new Saviors category and allies from the Hybrid Saiyans category. After Dokkan Awakening, he can launch an active skill to boost his power and become Ultimate Gohan. Uh, when conditions are met, of course. In addition to luxurious login bonuses, story events, a token event will also be available during the event period. Come join and come join the events and enjoy token battle. Okay, so first things first, we have a login bonus. It says here, autumnal training tickets can be obtained upon the first login during the event period. So these training tickets are essentially like the thank you celebration tickets or the wish strips for the town of Bata celebrations during uh, on JP and they can be exchanged for a certain pool of units in the Baba shop. I'm not sure what the units are but we'll check that out in a second. Okay so from there we have some special missions, daily missions, time limited missions part one and time limited missions part two. So part one starts today um, and part two starts on the 12th. And we have some Dragonstone sales. Doesn't really say what the sales are, but I'm assuming they're going to be pretty standard stuff. Uh, there is the Dokkan Festival banner with the transforming Gohan himself, as well as the Supreme Kai and Kabito Kai that fuse into, uh, or sorry, Supreme Kai and Kabito that fuse into, into Kabito Kai. And as far as the rest of the banner, it should be fairly similar to the JP banner, but a lot of people do think, and myself included, that the uh, Bardock, the AGL Bardock that was on the JP banner should be replaced by Int Future Gohan since that guy hasn't been on Global since, um, I don't know, it's been like 8 or 9 months I think. A really, really long ass time. So yeah, hopefully that happens and the rest of the banner is okay too. We got Fizz Piccolo, we got AGL Metal Cooler, um, I think, yeah, STR Ultimate Gohan's there too. Not super exciting, but... It makes sense, I guess. And there's one other unit that I forgot. But uh, I remember overall, I thought the banner was okay. Like, it wasn't the best banner. It wasn't the worst banner. Just, like, a decent banner. And, of course, this guy, I think, is still number one or number two TR in the game. So it's uh, definitely a summon for me. But, you know, let me know in the comments down below, actually, if you guys plan to summon. And also, how many stones you plan to spend, okay? So we also have a Dokkan Festival Ticket Summon banner. So there are Dokkan Festival Tickets, but those are only available through the uh, Pilaf's Trove as opposed to through Summons. So if you guys are free to play, then unfortunately, that's uh, not something that you can, you know, really take advantage of. Uh, okay, so we have the Saviors Category Summon banner. Obviously, 100% skip. I always tell people to skip Category banners. I just don't think it's worth your stones. Obviously, it's totally your decision, but I just think it's a... Uh, bad idea to be honest okay from there we have the pilaf's trove tickets late autumn awakening pack we got the tickets right there we got some uh elder kais or grand kais we got some hercule statues we got some orbs all that good stuff but obviously the only reason you'd be buying this pack is for the tickets and generally speaking the tickets are actually pretty good value compared to buying stones um you can usually do a multi with the tickets for a cheaper price than it costs to buy stones even on sale so like I said, if you guys are pay to play players, then you can buy the packs. I think it's probably going to be a good deal, but sadly for free to play players, it's uh, not going to be a thing. And then we have a new Elder Kai banner, nothing new there. I mean, technically it is new, but we always get that, so not a surprise. We have the Dokkan event for the Ultimate Gohan. Uh, I believe it's going to be a new stage added to the current Dokkan event, and it's going to be stage four, I think. And uh, what else? Okay, so we have the Goku and Friends Are Back event where the Gotenks and Tarbol, the free-to-play units from this event, are getting token awakenings, and they're both very solid free-to-play units, I would say. We are, we're also getting the new Stronger Than Ever Super Training of Goku's Family event, where we can get specific skill orbs for 
Goku's family, Goku, Gohan, and Goten. And a new ultimate clash. And it says here, join new battles with your allies. So I'm pretty sure that means we're getting the new enemies that JP has had for a couple of uh, ultimate clashes now. And the final boss is going to be a golden Frieza as opposed to the Jiren. So it's going to be interesting to see how much harder things are now. I'm assuming it's not going to be like that much harder. Maybe just a little bit different as far as like what the bosses do or what their effects are. But it shouldn't be too much more of a challenge. So if you guys could beat the Jiren before and all the other enemies, you should be okay. But to be clear, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't actually tested it out yet. So we'll see what happens, okay? And that's also coming tonight, by the way, at the same time as the banner, at the same time as all the other events here that we just talked about. And uh, that time is 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 11.30 or p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Obviously, we're on Daylight Savings right now. So that's why there's a difference in those two times. And for people on the East Coast, like myself, it's 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow morning. Okay, so if you're watching this video around the time it comes out, uh, you can expect to see this stuff in about five and a half hours or so. And what else do we have? Uh, oh, the autumnal training Baba Shop thing, where we can exchange our tickets for uh, the characters. Like I said, we'll take a closer look at that on the separate tab uh, in a second we got two story events coming back right now the Videl flying event as well as the gods and Majin event we have the rising dragon carnival double raids banner where these two girls are getting awakenings and they're both insanely good um, and this is coming out on the 12th okay so at the same time as the part 2 mission start this banner will also drop and as far as whether or not people should summon it's totally up to you uh, I don't think these are yeah, I don't think Double Rates Banners are really worth spending too many stones on, but you do have a better chance of pulling unfeatured LRs, so that's kind of the main reason why people do summon. And I feel like a couple multis wouldn't hurt, but for the most part, I'd tell most people to go light on this banner for sure. Uh, we have a new explosive chain battle. Okay, so it's finally back. I know a lot of people have been asking for it. A lot of people have been excited to, you know, take on a new enemy and get the rewards and get their high scores and all that stuff. So this is officially back on the 12th, though, once again. Okay, so in about a week and a half or so. And uh, the boss is going to be the legendary Super Saiyan Broly, which was the first boss that JP had. And there's a few other ones, obviously, obviously that we'll get eventually in the future. Um, and it should be a monthly thing, so... We, got, we have the, the Super Saiyan Broly right now, and then next month we should have either Golden Frieza or Super Saiyan God Goku. And then there's a new Goku on JP right now that we'll eventually get to. There might be another boss I'm missing. I can't remember. But yeah, you guys get the point, okay? So a new Explosive Chain Battle later on in the celebration. We're also getting the Extreme Z area for Int Raditz for his Extreme Z Awakening. And also the return of the Magical Girl Fighters Rebrianne event. And I think, I think we're gonna be getting, actually, you know what? Maybe not. Um, so there is a free-to-play Rosie and Kakunsa that are available on JP right now, but they don't really say anything about that. So I'm not really sure if we're gonna get them for this uh, ce celebration, this campaign. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, yeah, this event is back. Maybe with just Rebrianne, maybe with Rosie and Kakunsa too. I actually, they do get Extreme Z Awakening, so I don't see that here. So, so I guess maybe they're not coming yet. Uh, from there, we have the Buhan Extreme Z Battle Event coming back. And this leads me to believe that uh, the Extreme Z Awakening for the Tech Buff Boo will be arriving on Global as well. But I could be wrong. Although I don't really see another reason for why this would be back. Unless I'm blanking right now. Like, I feel like my brain is working really slow because I didn't really sleep, sleep much last night. So, uh, if I say some things that don't make a lot of sense here, blame it on that. My bad. But yeah, I think this might mean we're getting the buff boo. Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, we're also getting some other story events coming back. We got the Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. We got the uh, Saiyan Saga event as well as the Into Raditz event. And also the uh, weekend banner is also coming back. So there's a login bonus. There are some special missions for some more tickets. And also the banner itself. This is all coming on the 18th. So basically at the end of the celebration. But it's going to be going on for a couple weeks from the 18th to the 8th of uh, November. Okay, so uh, that is 
basically the meat of the celebration. There's not really much else to talk about. I was hoping for a new traditional like Dokkan Fest, Extreme Z Awakening, like Super 17 or Super Saiyan 3 Broly that we're, you know, we're missing on Global, but as it turns out, we're not getting that this time around, which really sucks. Um, would you call it a bit of a Global Shaft? Maybe, maybe, but it is what it is. Um, maybe they'll surprise us. I doubt it though, so... Yeah, this uh, celebration looks okay. It's a little bit less eventful than I was hoping for. I thought we might get the new stages for the uh, category Super Battle Road, where we get the new Goku and Gohan that JP has, but I guess that's not happening this time around either. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be maybe the next uh, next campaign, next celebration. But this is what we're getting for now. Uh, aside from the lack of a new Extreme Z Awakening, or at least a new Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakening, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. At least it's comparable, I'd say, to the Worldwide Celebration, which, I mean, that's supposed to be a much bigger celebration, so it's actually kind of sad if you think about it. But uh, that is the Autumnal Training Campaign. Let's take a bit of a closer look at the Baba Shop thing here. I want to see what the units are. Oh, is it just these three? Uh, up to three Autumnal Training Tickets can be obtained. And you can exchange autumnal training tickets for these three following characters. Oh, it's just the Kamehameha guys. Okay, it's the family Kamehameha units. The Goku, Gohan, and Goten. I mean, they're they're good units. Don't get me wrong. They're very good units um, after Extreme Z Awakenings. But I was just hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping for, um, you know, some variety or something like that. But it's just these three, I guess. Um... I mean, if you guys are newer, you got, you guys don't have these units, definitely pick them up still. Uh, I would say Goten is actually the best because of his defensive capabilities and also his orb changing. And uh, these two, in my opinion, are pretty comparable after Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, maybe Goku's a little bit better. Um, I don't remember, actually. But either way, I think Goten's the best for his versatility, for his, uh, you know, the different things he does. But yeah, they're all, all three of them are worth picking up. Just get one copy of each if you guys are missing all three of them. Or maybe pick, pick some pick up some dupes for a go ten or something like that if you have all three. Um, for me, it's gonna be a, a Kai basically. I'm just gonna use one of them to um, raise the super attack of one of my Super Saiyan Gokus or Gohans or Go Tens. But uh, I mean, what can you do? That's just how it is. So that's the ticket. A little bit less excited for it to be honest, but yeah, not much I can do about that. Uh, we also have the special missions. Let me see if there's anything crazy. Uh, let's see. We've got 30 dragon stones in total. Or we can get up to 30 dragon stones through missions. And for the login bonus, uh, one stone per day. Getting the autumn roll tickets, of course. And that looks to be it. 17 dragon stones for 17 days of the campaign, of course. So that's it guys, that is the Autumnal Training Campaign or the Transforming Tech Transforming Gohan Campaign on Global. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Are you, you know, impressed? Are you underwhelmed? Or somewhere in between, let me know. And I look forward to uh, bringing you guys some more content for this campaign, of course. The summons for sure, most likely tonight, about an hour before. The banner drops, I'll be going live, we can hang out for a bit, and then we'll jump into the summons as soon as the banner drops. Okay, so if you guys are available during that time, I know it's late, 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, but if you guys can make it, then try to be there, and we can have some fun together. Okay, so that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always, and if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.